sometimes we want to find value of an expression such as this in A, B or C at particular value of x. Typically in a graph this would be a function and you want to find y value for x equal to 3. So this can be done graphically and also it can be done by table method. So we'll first see the table method because sometimes you just need quick answer. So we need to go to the menu. Now this menu is already there so I will go back and uh, this is where you start. So there is graph, dynagraph and table. So I am going to open this application by executing. So I have this expression. Now since I already know that expression I am going to input that and then uh, verify if I got it correct minus x square minus 2 times x plus 1 closed and before I execute I want to see that I got the right expression. So minus x square minus 2 x plus 1 and at x equal to 3. So I think the expression is fine. So we execute that. So now it's in the memory. When it's in the memory, see this blue rectangle with the equal sign that indicates that it's selected. Then all you do is do not have to memorize what are the options. The table option is there at the F6 position. So I go and say F6 and here I am getting the, <coughs> the values. But I need for 3 and not minus 3. So I see if there is plus 3 and I do have plus 3. So the value is minus 17. And you can check this graphically also. But suppose you wanted this value for something minus uh, say 3 instead of 3, 15. Then you cannot go back and again find out how to increment this. So you use the edit. So what number this is for? F1, F2, F3, F4. So F4 is the edit. Here it's already blinking. So I'm going to delete that and put 15 and say execute. And I already see the value calculated minus 257. So that would be a way without graphing you can get the value of a function at given x. And that's the end of the clip. We can actually continue this one and uh, maybe in the other clip to do how we can uh, use graph uh, for getting the same result. So uh, this is the end of the clip now.